severe flooding around Elk County today. Here's a look at damage done in Ridgeway as water flowed into the streets. Take a look at what it looked like in Jay Township. Peggy sent us this picture. You can see what used to be a swimming pool and a swing set. Good evening and thanks for joining us. It came with little warning. Thunderstorms that nearly stayed in place. The meteorologists call that training, dumping several inches of rain in a short period of time. So much rain that it quickly led to serious flash flooding in Elk County and Ridgeway bore the brunt of that storm and that's where Jen Johnson is tonight. Jen. Good evening, Mark. The sun set long ago, but people here in Ridgeway are still at it at this hour. In fact, the fire department right behind me just responded to a call about 30 minutes ago. An alarm went out about someone smelling the scent of natural gas. Uh, these volunteers have been at it now for more than 16 hours, while property owners are cleaning up the mess from what is believed to be historic flooding. In Ridgeway, the Clarion River rose impressively fast, cresting at more than 21 feet. By 9 Wednesday morning, the bridge was impassable, the worst flooding, some say, since Agnes in 72. We had uh, rescues, we had evacuations, we were going since it started raining. Seven people rescued from the hardware store, four people from the Rite Aid, seven people from Country Squirrel Outfitters. And their competitor on the other side of the raging river put his drift boat to use. The people that were helping me, we hopped in the boat and we just kind of weaved down through the houses on Penn Avenue and went down to the bottom of Mount Morency. And that's when they said they needed help getting people out of, out of Penn Avenue. And the water came up so fast that emergency crews initially used a Penn Dot plow truck to pluck people from their homes. Then the salt truck started floating. I mean, you got to do what you got to do to get people out. You know, people don't realize when water comes, the power behind water. It just, it's just amazing. Put a request in for other uh, boats to come from other counties, and we had an opportunity probably at roughly around 17 people to rescue those that were either stranded in their house or on, to, on rooftops. When the bridge reopened, everyone came out to see the damage left behind and to make sure their friends and family near the river made it out okay. Water plant manager Rick McKnight spent the day away from it all at the reservoir, but he needed a lift from the ladder truck when the road washed out at the H.B. Norton Dam. Uh, they came out and got me, so it made the uh, night a little shorter, I guess. But everyone is in for much longer days beginning tomorrow. Now, fortunately, officials say everyone survived. There are no confirmed deaths. And I've just been told that the Clarion River is below flood stage right now at about 15 and a half feet. Um, there was a lot of hard work going in today, though. There were many evacuations. St. Leo's Elementary School, for instance, got its students out in time. I'm told that the basement is flooded. There will be no school there tomorrow. Home after home, all up and down the river are a mess. In fact, a shelter has been set up. At the Ridgeway Fire Department along Broad Street, many people are staying with family or friends tonight, but there are some senior citizens who were evacuated from the high rise. They're just thankful for a cot and a warm blanket to get through the night. The Red Cross is going to come in and be here during the evening. We have several people here that are diabetic and need medical attention, so we need to have the staffing here. And then we'll be, the auxiliary will be back in here tomorrow then to help. Earlier today, a transformer blew out at that high rise, so no one is sleeping at the high rise tonight. West Penn Power tells me a new transformer will be trucked in here tomorrow. They hope to have electricity restored to the high rise by mid afternoon. Now to the cleanup. The video really just cannot capture how big of a job it is going to be for home and business owners. Six News reporter Lauren Hensley talked with several business owners and has more about how bad the damage is. I'm outside of Napa Auto Parts, and as you can see, the store's front window is completely gone. It had to be boarded up. Now, in spite of the damage, the owner tells me they expect to be open tomorrow, but other businesses say they're not going to be as lucky. On Main Street and Ridgeway, workers were cleaning out Napa Auto Parts, which got several inches of flood waters inside the building, shutting down business for the day. Oh, oh it's amazing. Uh, I, I've never seen anything like it. A uh, lot of mud, 
a lot, a lot of mud. He says this is the worst he's seen, the storm even destroying the store's front windows. Still, Bunk expects to be open for business Thursday. I'm sure if somebody comes in and wants to buy something at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, we're not going to turn them away. Right across the street, the cleanup began at the VFW. Workers not optimistic about when they will reopen. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's a mess. We're going to be closed at least for a week. Fixing the damage will have a heavy price tag. All our coolers behind the bar were overturned with the water. They're probably all ruined. The motors, everything. There's mud throughout the entire place. I don't know how bad the walk-in is. The bathrooms are flooded. Everything will have to be replaced. And the cleanup has truly just begun here in Ridgeway. This isn't the only business that's boarded up. Right across the street from me, I can see there is a right eyed and they've been boarded up as well. And so many homeowners are still cleaning up over these devastating floodwaters. Reporting live in Elk County, Lauren Hensley, 6 News. Lauren, thanks. Well, members of the Red Cross disaster team will be canvassing many of the neighborhoods in the town of Ridgeway tomorrow when the sun comes up. I'm also told that Pima and FEMA officials will be in town. Community leaders are hoping to get that disaster declaration, which could provide money and assistance from the government in what promises to be a long road to recovery. And I might add that some families are still looking to reunite with their loved ones. I know that you know, Marty, I grew up in the town of Ridgeway. My 89-year-old grandfather still lives here. I'm told that he was rescued from his home in a canoe, but I have yet to hear from him, and we are very anxious to find him. Mart, back to you.